chapter 20, uh, verses 21 to 23. So what was my identity? So we know who our identity is in. We know what the expression of what a Christian should be doing. But what was our identity before the Lord Jesus saved us? 21 to 23. And you who were once alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now he is reconciled in the body of his flesh through the death, to present you holy and blameless and above reproach in his sight, if indeed you continue in the faith, grounded and steadfast, and you are not moved away from the hope of the gospel which you heard, which was preached to every creature under heaven, of which Paul I became a minister, were once alienated. Mm. The Greek word is apolotrio, meaning estranged, non-participant, alienate or not known. In other parts of scripture, it says that we were enemies of God. But we have been reconciled by his body, of his flesh, with a death to present you holy and blameless. The Lord Jesus has reconciled and restored us from that dead state into his kingdom. Isaiah 61.10 really clarifies it when I was looking at this. It says, I will rejoice greatly in the Lord, my soul will exult in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has wrapped me with a robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, as a, br as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. Jesus is our groom. We, the church, are his bride. We are clothed in his righteousness. The difference between being alienated and being reconciled to Jesus can only be measured in absolutes. Your old identity before you were saved was destined for hell and destruction. This is who you were. One part of scripture calls us enemies of God. Romans 5.10 says, For if when we were enemies we were reconciled to God by the death of his son. Much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Our new identity in Christ is now determined for heaven. Absolute absolutes. Because when we accept Jesus and are born again, we are a new creation, praise God. We receive the Holy Spirit, a deposit guarantee. Ephesians 1 verses 13 it says in whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth the gospel of salvation in whom also after you believed you were sealed that with the holy spirit of promise amen so summary what was our identity before we were saved we were once alienated from god we were enemies of the lord jesus but we have been reconciled into his flesh through his death because of Jesus, I and we here today can be presented holy and blameless before Almighty God. That's nothing of you and I. We are sinful, dirt, wretches. Only Jesus. He is our all in all and he is our identity.